yeah, all right, guys. We're going to go over Aussie Swiss from the other day here. Um, but before we do that, we just have to remind ourselves quickly that the truth of all of this is the, num the numbers here. The numbers are this. They, this is all, all they're doing here in the chart is showing us an X and Y axes of the numbers in time and they choose to show it to us in candlesticks or line chart or bar chart whatever you want all of this is an illusion there's nothing on this that's real it's all neptune pisces total illusion the truth is the numbers okay what we're doing is looking for large moves dominating currencies and currencies that will fail um, to come back to balance and, and if we were just staring at these numbers we would see the same thing here um, however we can't remember all of this all the time so we, we write it on the charts so let's try to remember that the reason this comes down is not because the moving averages are separating etc it's got nothing to do with it. the moving averages are simply giving us the average price of the numbers in time are reflected here but this doesn't record them right it shows you the number now and then you've got to remember it every minute well the charts providing we look at them all relative to the other currencies uh, will give us that same perspective um, so we went we were doing the Aussie Swiss the other day uh, we started entering here um, we held added more uh, and then now we're down here. So when we saw this, we jumped in a little early, but we're going to try to tweak that entry now in this video. Um, we saw that around here, I guess. Uh, and that's when we started entering. Uh, if we pull up the Aussie and the Swiss indexes, see that at that time there's the Swiss so the date of this is the 17th the date of the Swiss is the 17th in the Swiss index it, it's not separating whereas in the Aussie Swiss it's beginning to separate here suggesting that Aussie Swiss will slow from this point that's why we're selling. But Swiss is saying, well, we've got a bit more juice left, so you can wait. But us as um, uh, impatient human beings, we can't wait for anything. Uh, that's the nature of us. So, well, for me anyway, I'm not going to wait. Uh, I'm just going to sell one here, sell another one here, look for discount, sell more, um, sell more here in the worst possible place, and then add to it here. And ho hopefully, uh, our uh, margin is sufficient to survive um, but you guys if you want to fine tune the entries better which is what I recommend to do um, we should be waiting for both to um, do its thing so here right here we knew the Aussie was going to start coming down it was at that time it was showing us more of a move it away from the original path uh, of its line uh, relative to the other currencies. It was, it was the others were doing different things, right? Um, so technically, all we needed to do was wait for Swiss to start showing us the evidence, which would have been this day on the 20th, um, which is here, and then start selling Aussie Swiss on the 20th which is here, basically. Um, now, I believe we can, when we see this, we can also fine-tune our entries uh, by using the other currency to follow it. Um, if we remove the crypto discussions we've been having, here's the pound. Uh, while we're doing this video, look, we're we're back at balance right now. Uh, 
so we've got I guess everything's taken profit we've got one left we're, we're gonna be greedy with this and we're gonna hold it to below these lows uh, okay and we can put our stop if we choose to use stops um, and then okay so let's just try this here uh, so what we were saying is if we see the crypto going then that would mean that uh, going the other way from pound dollar euro dollar etc that would mean that they're going to run out of steam and uh, at least have chop to following them uh, well in theory we should be able to do that with the currencies too so if we're looking at everything just dollar based and then all of a sudden Aussie and Aussie everything dollar is going uh, uh, down let's say and Aussie is suddenly changing its path well that is telling us that Aussie is, is we, we better look at Aussie basically um, if that's the case we should be seeing an opening here so then we'll we'll look at the Aussie index and and we, when we should see uh, five of the currencies moving against the Aussie in the other way the same like we're looking at all the crypto moving against the dollar I believe if we saw five or six of the currencies going against the Aussie that means the weight has now changed so then the Aussie is going to follow uh, the other currencies or, or how, however however the scenario unfolds um, but yeah this is the, the pound uh, how do we know if we can hold on to Aussie Swiss longer if we were still in here uh, let's look at the individual currencies right now quickly and, and we'll use the, them as a gauge and then once we see something happening then we can go in a fractal uh, if that makes sense it's like if you if we figure something out on TV um, that happened and, and then we do the astrology on that day We've now, we've now gone in and zoomed in a, another fractal to get more details, more specifics. And, and then if we want to go in further, we pull out the numerology. And then if we want to go in further, the playing cards, the alchemy, etc., 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 to get all seven perspectives, uh, truth, seven truth. So how are we going to get the next perspective once we've seen this here we know now the dollar is finally showing us a little strength does that mean we can hold the pound further or does that mean um, it's going to be fake come back what's the deal here well let's find out uh, Aussie continued down let's move this out of the way New Zealand continued down so that's giving two positive strengths to the dollar. Okay, so you've got two down, one up, means dollar weight is up. Okay. Um, CAD. We'll do the same area. And this is just our outside zoomed perspective as if we're watching the, tea, the news okay we don't make a decision just because we see this moving average do this no it opens up the door to look in a bit further um, CAD is down um, that's it however CAD did come up a little here right so if CAD has a little strength, then that will help the dollar, right? But for now, we see it down, but less down than Aussie and New Zealand. So I'll put that one at a, uh, a chop, and we'll continue to say that the dollar is strong on, on that note. It's two, two versus uh, one, I suppose. Um, 
the Swiss is now strong to come away. So this is a, a, another green green box here, suggesting that you could hold if you were in the Aussie Swiss still, you could continue holding short on that um, because of what we're looking at here. And this relative, what's important here is relative at this time, this is the biggest opening, okay? Um, while Euro is not really doing much, even though Euro's moved, relative at this time, you don't see a wide opening in the moving averages. Remember, the moving averages are an illusion. They, they are counting the numbers, okay, uh, in time and marking them out for us. As we as human beings can't keep up with trend lines as well as uh, the moving averages can. Because um, we have too many things to do in our lives, so we can use these trend lines to help us. Okay, uh, so with Euro doing that, while Dollar is doing that, but we got to remember the slant of Euro is already up. So Euro still has strength here, even though it's coming closer to the moving average. While Dollar is coming up, it's still weaker than um, Euro. So we would say that is two Aussie New Zealand weak against the Dollar, while Euro is stronger than the Dollar. Um, Swiss is uh, stronger than, than the Dollar. So now that puts the dollar at even, right? So two versus two, dollar is now even. Let's go further here. Pound has done. Remember, we don't we don't need to do it to hear the time now. Right now, we want to know what has happened because we've missed the boat here. So we go back in time. Time, 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 right? Let's say we looked at it oh, I don't know, three hours ago. Time is there, the moving average will be there. Okay, you've got a break, a uh, move over here. Your pound is weak relative to the other ones, so we can have a red box here. This doesn't mean sell pound here. No, don't do that. Because we have to go in further. This has just opened up the first part of the show. Do we sell pound dollar here or not? Well, pound is weak. This is now made suggesting that the dollar does have some strength because um, it's now three versus two in, in weight. Okay. Uh, is there any more? Yes. Uh, yen. Let's look at yen. Same time period. Here it's coming down, go to the open, come down. The, uh, you know what we can do? Let's just while we're here, we can look at the old moving average, the older uh, line, and that's here. While this is weak, moving average is weak. So this is all red up till here, and now we're looking at here, and it's still kind of not really changed. So yen is here, is red, but what's happened here is you see it's coming up close in time relative. Dollar has not done a move against this moving average, this trend line as strong as LFX has. So I'm going to mark that as green. So that's going to help the dollar up. Because USD yen can now go up if LFX is weak, right? Boom and boom. And with pound weak, that's good. Uh, let's look at euro again. We need to look find weakness in this euro. Um, let's look at it in a bit more detail relative to the dollar. Um, because for LFX to go up, euro still has got to have a little strength, right? And it does. But relative to the dollar, will this drop? And this go up is the question. Well, we have a sharp move higher here. So for now, this is still green. Um, so 
so I wouldn't be selling you right now. No. But the dollar is stronger collectively than everything else, which will indeed put some weakness into the euro. Doesn't mean sell euro dollar though. Uh, and I think that's it. I'll be back uh, a little later, guys. Cheers.